He spent more time off the bike than on it in 2015. No wonder Simon Gerrans is happy to be back in the saddle. It was a rough year, um, but uh, you know, if you're in the game as long as I've, I've been, uh, you're sure to go th few, through a few lumps and uh, yeah, this year was definitely a tough one. It began 12 months ago with a broken collarbone. In March, the 35-year-old broke his elbow and then at the Tour de France, a high-speed crash resulted in a broken wrist. It's really tough when you initially hurt yourself because there's a period of unknown. You just don't know quite how long you're going to be out for or the extent of your injuries. But uh, yeah, once you're back on track and you've got, you've got a time frame to work towards and a new goal uh, in, the, in the future, then it's not so bad. There's plenty to look forward to in 2016, most notably the Olympics in Rio. I hopefully line up for my third Olympic Games and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, to, uh, to try and get a good result for Australia. Um, the Olympics is something that every athlete, you know, holds near to their heart. So, um, yeah, Rio is definitely very much on the radar for next year. Guerin's quest to qualify begins next month at the Grand Fondo, the Australian Road Championships at Mount Buninyong. But the day before, 800 lucky amateur cyclists will get the chance to experience the 10-kilometre circuit. It'd be kind of like, you know, going for a kick on the MCG the day before the grand final, the morning of. Um, it's a really unique experience. A unique experience one very, very amateur and rather unfit cyclist found very difficult indeed. How's your fitness going? Not very well. This course in particular is a tough one. Uh, up and down Mount Bunningong, it's only a little over a 10 kilometre loop. Uh, we race it uh, 18, 18 laps, so 180 odd kilometres. Uh, and then the, for the grand final, it's a few less laps, six or seven laps I think it is. Gerrans is a two-time national champion. Next year's event will be held on January 9. Julian De Stoop, Fox Sports News 500.